Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in a previous video, I showed you how to automatically start harvesters if the computer restarts or starts up. And that video worked great. However, if you update Chia on that harvester, then the way I showed you actually breaks. So in this video, I'm going to show you a new way to do this that will work across all updates. So you can update the harvester and you don't have to change anything and the method will still work. So if we go to show advanced options, we can see the current harvesters attached to the full node. And here, this is the harvester that I'm going to restart and show you how by default, the harvester doesn't start up on startup. So let's go here, do um, power restart. And then you can see it immediately just drops off on our full node. So this is what we're trying to solve here. We, when it starts up, we want it to, to connect to our full node again. All right, so let's wait for it to restart and then I'll show you how to fix this. Okay, so the computer has fully restarted and we can see that the harvester did not come back up. So let's go ahead and remote into it. So in the previous video, I used a test scheduler in order to have it uh, start the harvester on system startup. And we're going to use the same method as before. So uh, you can create a Chia folder if, right here if you want to by doing uh, action new folder. Uh, and then here's our old scheduled task. So let's go ahead and create a new task right here. And then let's call this Chia Harvester, you know, starter. You can add description if you want. And then this, you definitely want to check run whether the user's logged in or not, since when it starts up, the user won't be logged in. You want to choose your Windows version. You should be using Windows 10. If you're using Windows 7, I advise against that. And then for the triggers, you definitely want to click new and then change this to at startup and then you can leave everything else as default click OK and then for the action so this is where in the last video uh, we're going to make the change so essentially this is going to be the same we're going to type in powershell.exe and then the arguments are all going to be the same but the last one so we're going to do dash execution policy and I'll have this in the description of this video uh, bypass and then we're going to do no exit and then we're going to do non-interactive and then we're going to open up with double quotes and then this time we're actually just going to run a script rather than uh, pass it a command directly so the script that I wrote it's very simple so you're going to want to open up PowerShell ISE so type in PowerShell and then ISE and so this is kind of like a code editor built into Windows for PowerShell specifically. It is deprecated, so if you are going to you know, write some scripts, I would highly recommend using a Visual Studio code. And here's a very, very simple script. So this differs from the last video because in the last video we gave it the, the uh, exact path of the version that we we're running. Here, however, we replace that with an asterisk or a wildcard. So now it will pick up any... Um, anything after the uh, app. So essentially this will pick up any version of Chia, which is extremely helpful. So if you run just this command right here, and we do um, F8, and we store it in a variable called path. So if we uh, call that variable, we can see that it has this item in it. And then here we can just do the uh, and symbol, which basically invokes this item. Uh, in this variable and then we pass it the two parameters start harvester to start our harvester so we're just going to point our task scheduler to this script so let's go back there and now so what you want to do is just copy this into the ISC do file save as and then save it anywhere so I have it saved on my desktop right here uh, it is a PS1 file um, so just make sure that that is the case and then you just want to point it to this path. So remember we have uh, double quotes and then just do C colon and then to the path of the script file. So in my case it is users, Mr. Pig, desktop, and then let me go ahead and grab the name of the file. And you, if you don't see the .ps1, then you might have to add that whenever you're typing this in. It depends if you have file extensions enabled or not in File Explorer. So if you don't have the PS1, if you just have this, then just add the PS1 to it. 
and then do double quotes again to um, to have that enclosed and then just click OK and then under conditions so if you are using a laptop you might want to uncheck this so that uh, if, it, if your computer restarts and it's on battery then it will continue to run the task and then here this is probably the most important thing uh, don't uncheck this where it says stop the task if it's running for more than three days we want it to run forever so we want that to be unchecked then you can click OK type in your credentials and then let's go ahead and run this task to see if it works so now that it's running, let's open up task schedule or task manager to see if the start harvester process is running. So we see the Chia um, process, which is good. If we scroll down, it doesn't look like, oh, here it is, start harvester, perfect. So let's go ahead and go to our full node again to see if we can see it. So the GUI doesn't update automatically a lot of times, so you'll have to go to view, force reload. Now, if you're creating plots, this won't change anything. You can create plots and anything like that, and force reload won't affect that. So let's go to the farm page, go to show to advanced options, and here again we can see that um, it picked up the harvester. So let's go ahead and restart the computer and see if this uh, scheduled task will automatically start the harvester upon restart. So again, now that the computer's restarted, we should see this disappear. Yep, it's disappeared. And then let me go ahead and ping the computer to see whenever it starts back up. So let me ping. Oops. Oops. If I can type ping. 10.0.0.231 Okay, and here you can see that the harvester has been automatically started up using that task scheduler and uh, this is, so that harvester only has two plots on it since it's kind of my testing machine however we can see that those are showing up on the last attempt to at proof so everything seems to be working I hope this video was helpful. I'm sorry about the previous video where it breaks during updates, but um, this should fix that. All right, until next time, bye.